Hello, Serious Survivor here. And today we're going to take a look at the top 10 robotics companies in the world. We'll be focusing on the industrial robotics side of robotics and not the automated tellers, the uh, self checkouts and things such as that. So here we're going to look at the top 10 companies that have placed the most or largest amount of industrial robots into our production facilities around the world. And stay tuned to the end of the video as we break this down and look at the cost to the impact that this has on our modern society from a worker's standpoint point or point of view. So let's get started. Number 10, Stobley. Stobley is a global mechatronic solution provider. The Stobley group was founded in 1892 and since then has expanded both geographically and technologically. With the acquisition of Unimation, Stobley continues its dynamic path into one of the most advanced and innovative industrial sectors. The company has also launched a new range of collaborative robots and is investing further into its software business. Stobley currently has approximately 45 to 50,000 industrial robots in production as of the end of the first quarter of 2018. Number nine, Epson Robots. Epson is a company which first entered the North and South American market back in 1984, and they began as the Epson Factory Automation Group. They were originally founded to support many different automation needs, but Epson quickly became a prominent factor in some of the largest manufacturing sites throughout the world. Over the past three decades, Epson robots have been a leading supplier in the automation industry for small part assembly products and has introduced several industrial firsts, including compact Scara robots, PC-based controls, and many more innovative ideas. Epson currently has between 55 and 60,000 robots in industrial production environments throughout the world as of the end of the first quarter of 2018. Number eight, Mitsubishi Electric. Since 1980, this company has introduced a, an extremely wide range of robotic systems that helps in high speed and precision performance and manufacturing. Mitsubishi has extended its range of compact Scara robots and articulated arm robotics with the addition of Codian Robotics exclusive Delta style robots. Mitsubishi Electronics currently has approximately 70 to 80,000 robots in industrial environments throughout the world. Number seven, KUKA. The German industrial robotic giant KUKA, this is one of the world's largest producers of robotics and they're used primarily to manufacture automobiles. They're characterized by their signature bright orange crane-like box. KUKA Robotics offers a fully integrated range of automated robotics, control technologies, and customized software solutions. Since 2004, automation and robotics have been the company's primary focus and non-core areas were closed or sold. In 2016, KUKA was acquired by the Media Group, the Chinese household company, and they were acquired for $3.9 billion. KUKA currently has approximately 80 to 90,000 robots in production environments throughout the world. Number six, the Denso Corporation. This corporation started developing industrial robots way back in 1967 and through the early 80s. The company developed four axis and six axis industrial robots that have unlimited freedom of motion with infinite spinning axis. Today, Denso belongs to Denso Wave and develops high productivity robots. Their robots are designed to maximize the efficiency of operations in the manufacturing of engineered products, including things such as automobiles and medical instruments. Denso currently has 95 to 100,000 robots in industrial and medical environments throughout the world. Number five, Nachi Fujikoshi. Uh, most commonly called Nachi, this is a Michigan-based company that spans a broad range of manufacturing fields, including machining products such as tools and ultra-precision machines, as well as robotic systems for reducing power consumption and automating production lines. Nachi Robotics Systems boasts an impressive product lineup of industrialized robots, integrated vision systems, and cutting-edge technology. 
Nachi currently has over 100,000 robots in production or industrial facilities throughout the world. Number four, Kawasaki. This is a Japan-based company and is a leading provider of industrial robots and automation systems with a broad product portfolio. And the Kawasaki Robotics was the first in Japan to commercialize the industrial robots. In 2015, the company began distribution of an advanced dual-armed Scara robot that can work alongside humans. Number three, one of the largest and also most commonly known and popular robotic companies is ABB, Asia Brown Bavari. From the time it pioneered the world's first all-electric microprocessor controlled robot and the world's first industrial paint robot in the late 1960s and early 70s, ABB remains a technology and market leader in robotics. Yet the other aspects of the company are just as interesting with projects that they're working on at this moment in time, including vision systems. ABB has approximately 360,000 robots currently in production in manufacturing facilities in the world. Yaskawa. This is a Japanese brand that has led the industrial robotics industry since the first launch of its all-electric industrial robot known as Moto Man. With over 360 and up to as much as 400,000 Moto Man robots, 18 million inverter drives and 10 million servos and 18 million more installed globally, Yaskawa has successfully commercialized Optimum robots for various uses including including arc welding, assembly, dispensing, material handling, material removal, material cutting, packaging, and spot welding. Number one is FANUC. There aren't many people who have dealt with robots of any type that have not at least heard of the company FANUC. FANUC robots offer more than 100 various models of industrial robots that are extremely easy to operate and provide maximum flexibility and speed. FANUC has been working on smarter and more flexible solutions, particularly those that incorporate artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a key part of the research and development access of FANUC robots as they try to incorporate the robotic system itself into the work cell to allow the equipment itself to make the necessary decisions to continue or improve production. FANUC claims to have sold over 400,000 robots worldwide. These are industrial robots and the estimated figure at the end of this year will be closer to 450,000. FANUC is now the world's largest maker of industrial robots according to the latest information. That was the 10 most predominant robotic companies in the world. And by this, for this video, we're simply looking at the number of robots that each company has in production in the world today. Considering that a robot will work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year, excluding any type of malfunction or breakdown, then on the average, one robot's going to replace three to four personnel. And this is because robots don't take breaks, they don't ask for days off, they don't take holidays, they don't stop when they're tired. Robots work basically forever. They continue working until they break down. And for the advancements in technology that we see in our modern society, these robots really don't break down that much. Uh, it's the equipment around them that may fail. So the robot's one of the most reliable parts of the industrial work cell. Now that robots are rapidly taking the place of human counterparts, then companies have eliminated two major issues. The first major issue is the salary for the employees that would have had to run that job. The second major issue is the speed and efficiency in which this job is done. So this is gonna create a massive influx into the workforce. And this is one of those events that's gonna happen not so much rapidly, but slowly. And we're already in the beginning stages of it. It's not gonna be very long before this impact is felt, not just nationally, but worldwide. Well, that's it for this video. Just wanted to touch on and bring to light, talk about a few of the most predominant robotic companies in the world and get a little introduced to just how deep we already are into this process of, you know, fully automating everything that we have in a manufacturing or industrial facility. 
Keep an eye out on the channel. We got many more videos coming out in the artificial intelligence. This is the first starting off just touching on the different companies and looking at how much we truly do have already in place and how easy it's going to be to continue installing more and more of these as no one seems to really even take heed about it. No one is really concerned with the amount of robots that we put in because right now the robots are making our job easier. But on down the line, the robots are going to take our job because they'll know how to do it better than we do. That's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. I uh, do appreciate it. I hope the video was informative. And for now, Sir Survivor, out.